And of course, you're just finishing up with a great run with the Eagles. Is there a distinctive memory or feeling that you're going to kind of take away from this this tour? Something that will always sort of be top of mind whenever you think about these years of your life? Uh, just just gratitude that uh, I was the guy they, they, they decided would, would, would work for them. So, yeah, just, just that, you know, because Glenn was a great friend. And, and, and in my heart of hearts, I wish I wasn't doing it. That would mean Glenn would still be around. But, but life is what it is. And you just go do what you can do because of what happens. And so those songs deserve to, uh, to live on as long as they can. Is um, you know, what happens now? The tour wraps up. I mean, between with you, Don, and, and Joe, and the other members of the band. I mean, this relationship has to continue somehow, right? Is it all just kind of done? Well, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's I'm 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 uh, I'm, I'm the new guy in. I don't have a vote, so I just do what I'm told, and and life goes on uh, pretty peacefully that way. I have no idea what how yeah. how long this will get to you know to to go on. I think they they enjoy having me in the band and and uh, want me to stay as as long as they want to do it. So. I think until they, they hang it up, I'll probably be, be around. It's Vince Gill at WeFest, and I mean, you've performed with just about everybody except for Jesus. I mean, you're a pretty popular partner on albums. Is there anybody that you st still out there you want to perform with, or maybe someone who makes you a little bit nervous when you perform with them? Well, everybody kind of makes you a little bit really? nervous, it, 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 no matter what stage. You know, when I was 17 years old trying to figure it out, or now at 61, it, it's just been, you know, just show up and see what happens and answer the phone when it rings. You never know who's going to be on the other end. And I, I chose to want to collaborate with people my whole life. And, and I think it's, it's near about a thousand records. I've worked on their records and recorded with and, and some form or fashion. And I couldn't have dreamed that up in a million years. So I'm just going to keep answering the phone. It's an I mean, you're very generous with your time. Is there a new artist out there who, that you think is really special, someone that you're really excited about, a project that you've worked on recently? Well, the the one that I, I think is uh, is easily one of the most talented people I've ever heard is Charlie Warshin, yeah. you know, and I think it's just a matter of time for the right record at the right time for him, and, and he'll bust wide open, you know. He's just, he's too talented not to. It's, it's an undeniable thing. Yeah, the Rubber Band album was one of my favorites of the last 20 to 25 years, no doubt about it. How do you approach a show like this? I mean, there's a lot of younger fans in there, maybe people who haven't seen you before, and uh, then, then some fans who have followed you for a long time. What do you do a little differently? Well, I was looking at the list. You know, they've got a bunch of posters around uh, of, the, of the folks that have played here over the years. And, and back in 91, I was those guys. Yeah. I was the kid, right. you know, and now I'm the old guy. And, and it's kind of cool. You know, I, I love seeing... Uh, I love seeing their excitement, their exuberance. They're, you know, they're all they're, they're all new acts, obviously tonight, except for Carrie and myself, and and uh, just getting rolling and having their first taste of success and a couple of hits under their belt, and 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 I just love seeing uh, the light on on a young young artist, and they're having the time of their life, so it's fun to be with them. 